Are you trying to manually copy paste data of your LinkedIn leads into Airtable? What if I tell you that there is a simpler way to copy all the data with a single click? Interested? Stay tuned for more. Hi, this is Greg from Business Automated. On this channel, we are helping you to automate your business workflows. If you are new here, consider subscribing to get the latest updates on the latest tools, or even joining our channel to get a wide range of membership-only perks. See more about the perks on the channel homepage. Now back to LinkedIn. One of my customers was looking for a way how to funnel data of LinkedIn investors directly into Airtable. Since LinkedIn does not provide API to get this information, it is a fairly manual copy-paste process. In this video, we'll show you how our video sponsor Magical makes this process absolutely seamless. Magical is an AI-powered Chrome extension that allows you to create powerful automations on any website, even without API. Let's dive in and see it in action. What we'll go through today is setting up Magical, selecting data on LinkedIn page, building Airtable and Airtable form for data entry, exporting profiles to Airtable. We will also go through creating templates in Magical, as well as sending emails using those templates directly from your Airtable. Let's get going. To install Magical, go to getmagical.com and click Add to Chrome. This will take us to the Chrome Web Store where you can add extension directly into your browser. All right, so now we have installed the extension. Now what we need to do is make sure that it's enabled. So we will pin it over here. And now we will see that on all the pages where we are visiting, we will have this bubble on top, which is basically a shortcut to use the magical extension. All right. So now let's talk about selecting data on LinkedIn pages. So you will see that over here, we will also have the magical extension. The moment when we click on this, we will have some of the basic templates, but here also you will see what kind of information this has already discovered on the page. And you will see that it actually is smart enough to discover the first name from the, from the full name and the last name, as well as other company information. What we are missing here to our template is location. We also wanted to have a location over here. So what we are going to do, we are going to basically select this as a location and we are going to call it location. We're going to save it. So right now we have this collected from all the other websites as well. So we will be able to capture this also on other pages here. You can see we have the location here as well coming back to this original page. So we have all the information that we need. You also notice that it auto discovers email. So it makes a uh, reasonable assumptions using AI, what is likely the email that this person is using. This will be something that we're going to use later to send emails directly from Airtable. So we're going to click okay. And now this is the point when we will move on to creating automation. But first we need to make sure that we have the right template inside of uh, Airtable. You can see that I have already created all the fields that I would like to have over here, including location, details, URL of the person, number of followers, as well as emails. At the very end, I'm creating two additional fields that we'll be using for sending of the emails later. Let me delete the existing information. And to be able to fill in data here, we will need to use a form. So I will create a form that will allow submission of this data. We'll use a form view because we just need a simple basic form. We don't need to use the, the new version of Airtable forms. And here we'll keep all the information that we have on this specific form. The only thing that we're going to remove is the message body and the action. So this is everything that we need and we are going to open this form. And now we're going to create an automation inside of Magically that is going to pre-fill this form with data from LinkedIn. So let's cre create new automation. Here on this automation builder, we are going to select Airtable. And here we're going to select the form. So you will see that it has recognized the form as well as all the information fields that we have on this form. So what we are going to do here, we're going to click fill and we're going to take info from a site. And in this case, we are going to select LinkedIn because we have this already pre-filled and 
you will see that we will basically do a bit of matching to make sure that we match the information to the specific field. So the full name to the name, first name and so on. Okay, now we are going to save it and let's test it out. So we're going to use the first one with Sundar Pichai. And you can see that all the information here has been immediately filled out and we can submit this to Airtable, which means we have added the first row into our table. Now we can continue browsing LinkedIn and whenever we find an interesting profile, what we can do is click over here and we already have this template here linked into Airtable. So this is what we have created. So we would basically click on this and it would fill out the Airtable form over here so we can submit it one more time. To make it easy, we can also adjust the settings inside the form to make sure that it shows a blank form after five seconds. And now we can go to the next profile and again, the same process. And you can see that it's magically filling out the template with all the information that we have for that specific person. So it's super simple. There is no click and paste. And this information lands straight away in that form. So you can have it inside of Airtable in seconds. So you can see that we have a full profiles with full information over here. If there is location, there is location and so on. So this is super straightforward and a massive, massive time saver. All right. So now once we have this information, let me show you one other element. What we would like to do is for each one of them send a specific type of message. So what we are going to do is we're going to create a new template inside of Magical. So we go back over here and we will create a template. Let's click create a template and we will use the AI assist to write a template. So I have asked AI to create a template to invest in our company. So we'll just change this first name to be a first name so we are not confusing. And instead of your company, we'll put the company name. So I will add the template tag here, company name. And we will call this template, hello. And we're going to save it. We could share this template with our team. In this case, we'll just use it directly here on this page. So now here we would like to type this specific content. And the way we're going to do this, it's going to be slash slash. And because of some peculiarities inside of Airtable, I'm actually not clicking on anything. So if you if you notice, I'm using uh, going up and down using my keyboard. And here on this list, I can see hello. So I'm going to press enter to use this hello. And then from the list that of the people that I already have in Airtable, I will fill out the people that I would like to add. So for example, in this case, it's going to be uh, Sundar, Sundar Pichai and then this was added here and I pressed enter. The only difference is that if you click on this template because it's a Chrome extension, Airtable is quite sophisticated in how it's done. So it might be taking over some clicks. So you might be having um, some difficulties, but if you um, use this with the keyboard, you'll see this shows up over here and here you can select thank you. And then I'm not clicking if I press click actually something happens that doesn't work, likely because of how complex Airtable is, but you will see that if I do exactly the same thing with uh, with my keyboard, there is no issue whatsoever. Let me delete that one more time so you can see this. Okay, yeah, it works. So sometimes it might be dropping that, but you can see that this is a massive time saver. You can also change the type of reply. So for example, you could say, you could say thanks in this case, thanks for your message. If you'd like to have a shorter reply or you can use any other of any other of the templates here. All right, so this was for example, a feedback feedback request. So just remember to uh, play with the, the keyboards and then it will uh, pop up over here. All right, now what we would like to do is we have one more item over here. So we have a button single select field that we called uh, email action. And the way we would like it to work is that when we press send email, we would like to trigger automation that would send this email to that specific person. So the way we are going to do this, it's going to be following. So we're going to set up a new trigger and when record matches a condition and the condition will be 
email action and if this condition is send email what we would do we would send email and in this case we can for example add email using gmail and we will select our account here if we don't have an account we can add a new account and in this specific part what we would do we would select the, the email from our record here we would select the subject and here the content would be the message message body all right i have added the gmail account and the final step here will be that we'll update the existing record on the table one and what we will do we will change the action field to email send to give us visual feedback that something was sent out so we'll call it email all right let's turn this one on and you can see that for example in this case i would like to send out a mass email over here so i have marked the emails to be send email and you'll see that they change the color to the email sent and you can also see that this has been sent out from my Airtable to my inbox and you can see the email over here so yeah so that's the whole scenario i hope that was useful for you go and check out uh, magical and how how well it will work for for you and for your data scraping and please let me know what you think about this scenario and um, yeah let me know what other business automation tutorials you would like to see thank you so much have a fantastic day